Mr. Rajiv Mathur. He's the MD of the company who joins us now on the show. Mr. Mathur, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us on ET Now. Um, how do you see growth uh, pick up going forward? It was a bit uh, sober, you know, in, in the quarter gone by. Uh, what is it that led to that kind of growth and how do you see it grow in the coming quarters? So our belief is that uh, going forward, we should be able to grow between 6 to 7 percent on a compounded annual basis. Uh, we have had a reasonably good growth in terms of CNG volumes and also in terms of piped natural gas into houses. If you discard the degrowth which happened in the transport sector in terms of uh, the bus fleet of BEST, we have actually grown by over 7.5% in the CNG sector. And going forward, our belief is that uh, the degrowth in the uh, you know, public transport uh, buses sector has tapered down. And our only belief is that, you know, with more and more aggregators and more and more four-wheelers coming on stream, the taxis, etc., the CNG volumes will only pick up in the coming uh, quarters. Also on the PNG front, this year for the first time we were able to have over a lack of burning connections in the city of Mumbai, which is for the first time that we crossed a one lakh number. Next year our uh, target is to actually connect 200,000 and uh, maybe 150,000 odd would actually start burning gas. So with those kind of uh, targets that we have set for ourselves, our understanding is that we should be able to do much better CAGR in terms of volumes in the coming quarters. Could you also uh, guide us about the margins that you are looking at given the, uh, uh, how the prices have run up globally? So as the crude prices rise, uh, they augur well for the natural gas sector because natural gas prices have now disjointed with the crude prices. And uh, we have a formula on which we work. So for the CNG and the PNG sectors, the prices are based on a formula which is fixed for six months. And that price is going to remain stable over the next couple of months. So uh, that would give us uh, an opportunity to cover up any cost rises whatsoever that they are. Not to say that uh, we will try to you know, maintain our operating costs, but then there are certain tax elements which are not possible because we are not coming under the VAT, uh, sorry the GST regime. So some VAT levies and service charges on transportation of costs etc which were one off you know, in the last quarter, they can be taken care of and I am sure even then the CNG price and PNG prices will be quite attractive for the customers to graduate to and use. So Mr. Mathur, what kind of, um, I mean, if, if there's any target you're working at towards your margins, uh, what would be, I, I know a lot of course depends on how prices as well move, like you mentioned, you know, um, the relationship between, between the two, but any approximate margin target that you're looking at for FY19? So I can't give any numbers, uh, but I can assure you that the numbers should only be better, uh, you know, in the coming year as we go forward. All right. Um, talk to us about the new geographies um, that you may be evaluating for Mahanagar Kas. So one is the G GA3 where we are now working in Raigad. You know, a lot of activities are happening there. A new airport is coming up. Now there's a timeline to it. Then there is a smart city which is happening. They have put some timeline to it. Then, you know, uh, they are, there is a Nana smart city which is coming up. All that at, uh, was, uh, you know, only talked about in the past. In future, we will have about 2 million kind of a population in the coming 5 to 10 years. That's the kind of horizon that we are looking at. And that is going to be one area where we are going to spread our network and try and connect more and more houses, create more CNG stations and take on board all that uh, latent demand, that potential that we have. That's point number one. In addition, you know, the PNGRB has come out with some 86 new geographies where they've asked for bids and that will close sometime in July. Uh, we are actively looking at about 20 of them. Uh, that's a uh, shortlisting that we have done for ourselves. And we should look at, uh, you know, aggressively bidding for you know, a sizable number of those uh, 20 that we've shortlisted for ourselves. And our hope is that uh, going forward, we will be looking at 
couple of other geographies where we will start uh, we, we we might get the you know uh, authorization and start working on so we would look at uh, increasing footprint beyond the mumbai mumbai metropolitan region into other areas which look uh, equally lucrative or uh, are in the anvil you know going forward I'm also looking at the fact that CNG conversion has picked up to 6.5 thousand vehicles per month. Going by this figure, what's the kind of growth that uh, you are, are targeting, and uh, is there an expansion in this number also that you uh, that you're looking at? So, as the petrol and diesel prices rise, the attractiveness of CNG, you know, grows in the same proportion. Uh, people are also looking at you know using aggregators four wheelers taxis which are not owned by them but they provide them with a service to transport and take them to different locations so 6500 is a number uh, based on business as usual in the coming years my guess is that more and more aggregator four wheelers would be available and the 6000 number 6500 number would only grow and uh, as the degrowth in the bus sector uh, you know tapers down we should see more than a 7% growth in the cng sector going forward right that is a very encouraging numbers we wish you all the very best for that and of course for the upcoming bids as well uh, on your new geograph geographies thanks so much mr mathur all the very best for the coming quarters as well